assignment time. All right, so for this assignment, I want you to create a base mesh. Okay, so I want you to look up reference and all that good stuff to kind of get the idea of how tall a character is uh, for the, the base mesh. You know, I just gave you some general stuff, but, you know, I just really did it as an artsy piece. But, you know, I really want you to kind of look that stuff up on your own. You know, when I, when I see videos that, you know, go into every muscle and everything and say, this is the length of this muscle, you get hung up on... At this stage, I think you get hung up on too much detail. Uh, just know where your major joints are at and how to figure out those major joints. Uh, muscle comes later as we sculpt things. So to get started, uh, we need base meshes. So we're going to develop two different base meshes for your assignment. We're going to develop a biped and a quadruped. So the quadruped, you've seen how I did the biped. Now I want you to figure out the quadruped. I need both of them turned in. And I want them turned in just like this. So I want the poly mesh skin. Two separate files. First name, last name on the file. And just like first name, last name, biped. First name, last name, quadruped. Now for the quadruped, you can uh you can choose any family of quadrupeds, you know, like you know, there's a cat family, which the skeletons are always just just so near each other um, or you can look at horses cows so are horses and cows any there is a real difference between the anatomy there skeletal wise you know just things are stouter shorter but wouldn't a base mesh be able to handle both cows and horses you know, just thinking that thinking out loud here Think of a family of quadrupeds. Elephants. Okay, obviously elephants are just elephants. There's no way around that as far as a base mesh. Um, they are their own family altogether. They might be able to group it with an anteater, but I doubt it. So think of the families. Think of what kind of quadruped family you want to develop, and that's that's your mission for that. I'm how I'm grading this is the uniformity of the mesh, how well the polygons are spread out. Um, I'm not necessarily looking at anatomically proven base meshes because this is at the beginning stage still, but I am looking at scale a little bit. So the hand, if you hold your hand up to your face, obviously your hand and your face, you know, closely match each other. Um, and then I'm going to leave it up to you to kind of look for uh, the length of things too. Think about, you know, like this head. Well, how how long is it from the shoulders to the elbow? I want you to look that stuff up. It's very important at this stage of, to be able to think of things like that. I could tell you, but then it's it doesn't teach you how to kind of go reference things. And I've learned from that in the past. That's a big mistake huge mistake so in here uh, and we'll, we'll cover some of that in sculpting too but for right now just get the general length of uh, from here to here here to here and kind of look that up how many heads tall is a character these are all char these are all questions that you should be asking yourself right now okay so that's your assignment two separate files upload it when you're done